Like this world is messed up. Yo, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-mm. This world that we live in is corrupt. It is cruel. It is evil. It is. Oh, it's a king. Welcome back to another new video. It's your girl, Lerata. Period. Oh, make sure you see something yourself. Comment in the comments section. Don't forget to hit the, hit the subscribe button down below. And I'm about to punch the subscribers, guys. So for today, we're going to be reacting to Andile demands paternity for both the children he has with Sitole. Sitelo. I keep saying Sitole. Sitelo. She, she, an ungrateful girl fences, and she and. You know these African boys that want to sound like they are coming from United States. Chill. Chill. But anyways, guys, this story is just like, yo, are these guys really trying to make her life difficult? You know when you have money and you try to make those um lives difficult. Like, you know when you raise a child around money and they think that, mm, I'm this and I'm that and I'm that and I'm this. I honestly just like, yo, I shim. God helps you to totally shim. I shim. But anyways, guys, without further ado, let's get into the video. Guys. <laughs> Hello loves and welcome back to what my YouTube channel. Boy? I go by the name of Yoloka Zikagi, but you guys can most cool. definitely call me Yolo now. I must say on behalf like of Ms. Tina Shorzy and Angela Mbisan, hey guys. Because there's always some new information coming out about what's currently happening in Bilueni Zabu. Now, recently, Sunday Times newspapers revealed that his Taylor shows his baby daddy, of course, Andy Limpisani, is actually demanding a paternity for birth. The children he has are no Miss Shorzy. They further shared that according to a letter directed to Ustiel on Thursday by his attorneys, Anila wants a paternity test to take place either tomorrow, which is the 11th test. of July or Wednesday, the 13th so of July. Now, on that particular letter of demand, this is what was stated. It says, our client has in recent past requested that she both take paternity wow. test in respect of baby flow and baby cocoa to lay to rest the old rumors of infidelity of your part during the time when the kids were conceived and instead of addressing our client's genuine request you opted to divert attention from the real issues at hand by throwing up allegations of abuse against our client now to to that end our client will not be distracted by your sideshows and has secured an appointment with the laboratory to perform the <gasps> aforesaid test on the 11th shows. or the 13th of July 2022. Kindly refrain wow. from your continued attacks and insults of our client's mother and direct your communications to our officers. So there you guys have it with this update. I did see on Twitter many people stating that hey, Umam Kize Unemali Eningi and do you know where the danger is? The danger gangoku is over is a tanini, you know, um the results might be tampered with. But I actually I I'm 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 trusting Umam Kize on this one. I don't think that Angafuna Ukbeka Inganeza Andile in Mupeni Eganjalo. I trust that Umuntu Oz Kaza and so I'm just praying that they will not tamper with the results. She doesn't people stating that you know the firstborn literally is a copy and paste of Andy Lempisani. So she does not need to even go for the DNA test. Maybe the second child can go, but the first one I J you guys so please do share with me what are your thoughts on this one like this video and also subscribe if you have not yet done so um, guys like guys it is real like this is like one of those like um parental battles like those battles where it's like sharp First, it started off as us having relationship problems, now you're involving the kids, then you're going to involve that granny that stays in the car that never even knew that you guys dated. Like, I really want a paternity test and infidelity. I mean, people are saying the results might be tampered with, people are saying, what if it works in his favor? What if the child is not his? And I understand, like, Shab, as much as what they're doing in terms of, um, 
abusing her is wrong it's like i mean i understand like raising a child that isn't yours that is cruel and i understand a lot of women will lie a lot of women will yo i shame they will make the, they will make you make them pregnant just because you can financially support a child that you guys make together like this world is messed up yo ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -mm. This world that we live in is corrupt, it is cruel, it is evil, it is... People don't rest. It is always the battle. People don't rest. 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 Stop fighting things that do not make sense. Like, I honestly don't get it. But anyways, guys, I honestly just pray that everything's okay for Sitole and everything works the right way, not in anyone's favor. If they are wrong, then they should get what they deserve. And if she's wrong, then she'll get what she deserves. But involving the children and paternity tests, then that's a whole different, like, ball game. And I bet she's stressed, she cries, she's like, really, after I did this for you, you're gonna just, like, push me around like and plus they have money so it's like yeah and like you would think that she's lying because like the mug is gonna be there why would i you don't know people you don't know what happens when you close doors but anyways guys without further ado make sure you give this video a comment in the comment section your thoughts on everything that is happening and no matter your first questions and hit the subscribe button i'm the right to first subscribe button it's your girl and now